Name something that can kill a lively party. is if anybody thinks that they're not going to screw you, well, good for you. The Japanese government has begun checking debris for radioactive contamination in areas near the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The Environment Ministry and Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency began testing about 120 sites on Monday. Debris from the March 11th quake and tsunami could be contaminated with radioactive substances that have leaked from the nuclear plant. Workers placed radiation monitors near the surface of debris piles. They also took samples for testing at laboratories. As there are no laws covering this type of disposal in Japan, the government will decide what to do with the debris after analyzing data and consulting experts. As there are no laws covering this type of disposal in Japan, the government will decide what to do with the debris after analyzing data and consulting experts. Debris has been left untouched in the no-go zone within 20 kilometers of the plant and in the planned evacuation zone outside the 20 kilometer radius. They won't die. In fact, that'll be our motto. They won't die. Name something you see in every scary movie. The Japanese government says the levels of radioactive strontium around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant need to be closely monitored. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, detected high concentrations of strontium-90 on Sunday in soil samples taken on April 18th inside the plant's compound. The amount is about 130 times higher than before the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. The Prime Minister's nuclear advisor said on Monday a detailed investigation is necessary to determine how the radioactive substance was scattered. Goshi Hosono said that should include an analysis of past data. Once inhaled, radioactive strontium accumulates in bones like calcium and could cause cancer. Until now, the government has not checked strontium levels regularly or in wide areas because it's not easy to distinguish from other radioactive materials and takes time to measure. Forget the problems. I'll take care of the problems. They're going to love waiting for it. It's a massacre. If the core is exposed, for whatever reason, the fuel heats beyond core heat tolerance in a matter of minutes. Nothing can stop it. And it melts right down through the bottom of the plant. Elevated radiation levels are again hampering the work to bring the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant under control. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it may need to slow down work at the number one reactor, raising concerns that the overall plans to repair the plant will be reviewed. Theoretically to China, but of course as soon as it hits groundwater it blasts into the atmosphere and sends out clouds of radioactivity. The number of people killed would depend on which way the wind is blowing. Render an area the size of Pennsylvania permanently uninhabitable, not to mention the cancer that would show up later. The company measured radiation levels at several spots in the reactor building on Monday as part of its preparation to fill the containment vessel with water and restore a circulating cooling system. The company is concerned that the reactor's pipes are leaking radioactive water contaminating the area. The test yielded a maximum of 700 millisieverts per hour, which would only allow workers to stay in the vicinity for around 20 minutes. However, employees spent half an hour doing the tests and were exposed to as much as 10.56 millisieverts of radiation. TEPCO says the figures are higher than acceptable for worker safety. We hope that radiation levels would go down to one millisievert per hour, but things didn't work out that way. We need to bring in some shielding system or clear out the highly contaminated rubble. You're going to need a bigger boat. 
On Tuesday, the firm will attempt measures to reduce radiation levels, including laying down sheets containing lead to insulate the radioactive substances. It will continue checking the levels, but is worried that it may need to change plans depending on the results. You got us in some serious shit. Japan's Nuclear Safety Commission says a new aerial map of radioactive fallout contamination has confirmed the radiation levels around the Fukushima Daiichi plant. It says the map will be effective in finding ways to lower radiation levels. The Japanese Science Ministry and the U.S. Energy Department conducted a joint aerial survey from April 6 to the 29th of the area within an 80-kilometer radius of the plant. The map shows the density of radioactive cesium in red or yellow, depending on the concentration in the soil. The high-density area lies northwest of the plant, coinciding with data collected on the ground. The commission's chairman, Haruki Madarame, told reporters on Monday that it's about time to review ways to carry out the daily surveys on the ground. No shit. I think it will be possible to acquire more meticulous data by comparing the results of aerial mappings. It will help to identify the areas that need to be more carefully monitored. Um, questioning of the safety, the safety measures in place at Fukushima Daiichi and various nuclear sites throughout Japan for years. There's been various accidents and various cover-ups that go back to the, to the, to the 60s and 70s um, in a slapdash uh, safety procedures and, 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 and operating procedures that res resulting in, in, in various, fo various forms of, of radiation releases including criticalities. You know, we were told at the, we were told at the weekend um, to expect a large radiation release, you know, or expect some sort of radiation release. Then uh, this is in the independent media. And then TEPCO, TEPCO was saying, no, there's going to be a minimal release once the reactor number one doors are open. It'll barely, it'll barely do any damage to the environment. Don't worry about it. It'll barely, barely do any damage to the environment, you know, um, or any wildlife or anything like that. Well, the thing is, right, we're, we're, we're here now, a day later, after, um, after these doors were open. And uh, it basically... Uh, opening the double entry doors, air containing around about 500 million becquerels of radioactive substances is believed to have been released into the atmosphere from the upper part of the number one reactor building which was damaged in a hydrogen explosion that occurred in the early days of the nuclear crisis. So now we've gone we've got 500 million, 500 million becquerels, ah don't worry about it, it's fuck all man, it's nothing, it's nothing don't worry about it, get back to work, go shopping you know, I mean, don't watch the news, you know. We need to get to subscribe and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.